A really cool day here at Fifth Third Field. It is National Softball Day. So we had a softball clinic, but we brought in a couple of superstars to lead the way. A couple professionals that have also played on Team USA, Sis Bates and Sierra Romero, both part of this camp along with UT softball coach Jessica Bracamonte and others for one heck of an afternoon. Okay, when you field it, try to start with your glove a little bit lower to the ground and then work from the ground up, okay? Yeah, the sport is definitely growing. It's really exciting. I'm so happy to be here. And when I was a little munchkin, I looked up to a lot of baseball players. So super full circle and I'm excited to be here. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna tell you to do really quick. So when you're going, make sure you're not overrunning your ball, okay? So make sure when you're catching it, you're not catching it to the side and running forward because if it takes a bad hop or you miss it, it's gonna go right behind you and go into the outfield and that runner's gonna keep going. It's awesome, like you said, it's cool to see it grow. It's cool to see it being picked up at a baseball field and have the support of a baseball organization. Like that's the kind of stuff that we as pros are working towards. Like we want that for the college athlete, for the little girl, have something to look up to and something to strive for. We are in the middle of a boom for women's sports and these stars certainly feel the momentum that is happening all around the world. The first thing I think of is Caitlin Clark, and she is absolutely killing it. And I know for me and my boyfriend, whenever she's playing, we're turning on the TV. And I think that that's nationwide. And really kudos to her for bringing such attention to women's sports. And it's always been exciting, but now we're getting a spotlight, which is amazing. And I feel like it's always been there, but we just haven't always had the attention. So I think that the athletes are playing like unapologetically. I think that these these strong women in, in college and in sports in general are they're demanding more, but they're they're playing more aggressively. They're they're really showing and expressing who they are and people are watching and paying attention and they're falling in love. They're like, whoa, you know, these women play like this and they didn't realize it before, but also it's being televised, it's it's in their it's in their face now when it wasn't. So it's hard to get behind something when it's not in your face. And so I think just seeing it and the visibility has been really huge. Mudhens manager Tim Fedorovich had his daughters out at the camp along with plenty of the Mudhens players who were helping out. They too feel the excitement for women all around the sports world. I think the girls are loving it out here. They see um, their role models, um, other women athletes that are out here helping. And um, I know my girls were kind of in awe when she was out there taking ground balls, just kind of watching her and everything that she did. So it's, it's definitely great to have them all out here. And then you add uh, some of our Mudhen guys too. I think it's gonna be a great day. Okay, so make sure on each one of these, you get there, get in front of it, field it, and then come up, okay? But make sure your chest is behind it. Good, there you go, good. The more we can put our game and what we do in front of people and show them how good we are, how talented we are, I just feel like that is that next push. And I think that college ultimately obviously helps. Like everybody watches the Women's College World Series. It's such an impactful week at Oklahoma City. And I feel like that is where a lot of softball fans grow and learn that, wow, softball is legit. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Which one's been your favorite so far? This one. This one? I just know for myself, I want to play as long as I can and to see it grow as much as humanly possible um, for the next generations. And that's something that Sierra has been doing as well. And I, I think the sky's the limit for us, truly.